I didn't think I'd be back so soon with another one of these videos, but today I'm talking about some new Sephora holiday gift sets. Sephora just launched a ton of new gift sets, and I know I said in my last video that they said every single Friday there are going to be new drops on the app first, and then the next day they'll be available on their website. Between now and then they launched some. They also launched a lot of exciting ones within the last few days, so I wanted to go over them in today's video. Honestly, for me, these launches are a little bit more exciting than the ones in the last video. Last week's video focused a lot on the Sephora favorites kits, which I will say there are a ton of great ones this year. Those kits tend to include a lot of different products and a lot of different brands, but I tend to get a little bit more excited about the individual brand kits because there are certain brands or certain products that I know I would love to be able to get in a set with minis and multiple shades. So I can't wait to share these with you in today's video. I have 15 different sets to talk about, and I think this might be a little bit more of a regularly occurring series on my channel over the next month or two as Sephora rolls these gift sets out. Okay, let's start with one that I think is pretty popular popular every single year. Fenty actually released two of their sets. I think they'll end up having more because they usually do quite a few sets during the holiday season. And I think last year Fenty rolled them out a little bit more slowly. So the first one is the Glossy Posse Volume 7 Full Size Gloss Bomb Trio. So every year they usually do a set with mini gloss bombs and then a set with full size gloss bombs. Although last year, I don't know if they did a mini set. I tend to prefer the mini set just because I feel like their gloss bombs, even the minis come with a ton of product. So I'd rather get additional shades rather than full size products. But if you like full size lip glosses, this set is available. It's $40 and it comes with two existing shades and then one set and then one set exclusive. So automatically, if you already have one or both of the existing shades, this kit probably won't be the most ideal option for you because you're already buying something you own. And I do feel like the existing shades in here are pretty popular ones. So you get the Gloss Bomb Heat in the shade Hot Cherry. That's worth $26. I do have that one. It is a gorgeous red. It has a little bit of like a sheer factor to it. So even though it's really bright and vibrant in the bottle, it's a little bit more what I would consider wearable on the lips, but I feel like you do still get a good amount of color. And then it also comes with the Gloss Bomb Cream in the shade Fenty Glow. This one is worth 22, and this one has a little bit more pigment, this line does. The set exclusive shade is actually really beautiful and that's how they get you because they include like one limited edition shade you can't buy otherwise. And this is the Gloss Bomb, the irregular version in the shade Dragon Mommy. This is worth $21. So this set is $40, but $69 in value. So if you were to purchase this set, instead of purchasing three full size glosses separately, you'd end up saving $29. For me personally, it wouldn't make sense to buy this because I do have two shades, even though that new shade is really, really gorgeous. Sometimes they end up long launching the set exclusive shade like later in the year as a new addition to their line. So if you really want that shade, there is a chance that it could come out as a whole separate launch later but it's hard to know. So this is the seventh version of this set. At some point, they start to feel a little bit repetitive. And again, I like the sets that come with the minis better because they usually do like a lot of new shades, colors that I don't already own. So I'm hoping they do one of those this year. Tower 28 is actually launching a set of lip products as well. I feel like this is going to be pretty popular because a lot of people do enjoy this formula, but also this is a pretty inexpensive set compared to other options on Sephora's website. So it could be a really great gift if you have like a very strict budget or it could just be one that you want to try for yourself, but it's the mini Lil Softies Tinted Lip Treatment Set. So it retails for $20 and you get four of their lip treatments. And again, they are mini. So three existing shades and then one set exclusive. The set exclusive shade is Sugar Plum, which does look really pretty. I'll put some pictures on the screen so you can see what these colors look like on the lips. So I do have these. I think I have almost every single shade and I like them a lot. I kind of go back and forth when it comes to like lip balms, lip treatments, lip oils, lip glosses. Right now I am enjoying like a good lip balm. I feel like they're just very easy for everyday wear. They're not too thick or overly glossy. And if I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, sometimes I don't want like a full on gloss or even a lip oil. So a lip balm does come in handy. I'm really enjoying the Ulla Henriksen one right now, although I think that's marketed as more of a lip treatment. So I broke it down. One full size lip softy is $16 and you get 0.38 ounces. So the minis come with 0.17 ounces each. So they're a little bit less than half, not by much. So I feel like you get a good amount in there. They're actually worth $7.16 each, bringing the total to the set 
or the total of the set up to $28.64. They claim it's worth $32, which just isn't even accurate. I don't know where they're getting that added value from. There's not even like a random makeup bag or anything included. That's why I like to break it down for you. Sometimes it's just a few dollars off, but sometimes it's significantly off and not everyone has time to sit there and do the math. So that's why I do it for you, just in case it is something that's important to you. For me, when it comes to certain sets like blushes or lip products, I don't necessarily care if the retail value is significantly higher compared to what I pay because I find more value in having additional shades. I'd rather get, or I'd rather pay a similar price to one full-size product and have four minis and four different shades than just one full-size product of the same shade because I like to switch it up and I just, I'll never use up a full-size lip product for the most part. But anyway, I do think this is a good set for $4 more than the cost of one full-size product. You get four options, like I said, and then almost twice the amount of product in this kit. Okay, one more lip product kit before we move on for now. I was actually waiting for this one because Lawless typically does a kit with their plumping lip glosses, and that is my favorite formula of all time. So I always wait to see what they launch. This one is the Mary Minis Lip Plumper Gloss Trio, and it retails for $27. So this actually comes with some best-selling shades, or one best-selling shade, Rosy Outlook, which is a sheer baby pink. I do own this. I got it in a Sephora Favorites kit a little while ago. It's pretty, it's basically like a clear with like a hint of baby pink. It almost looks like a milky clear. And then two new limited edition holiday shades, Melrose, which is a golden pink with a pearlized finish, and then Bitten, which is a rosy mauve. So as for the actual value, the minis come with 0.05 ounces. A full-size lip gloss comes with 0.11 ounces. So it's almost half the amount of product, even though they do look pretty tiny. The full-size glosses don't actually come with as much lip gloss as some of the other brands. So it is a formula that you can tend to go through a little bit more quickly, especially because it is a thicker formula. So I feel like as you apply it to the lips, you end up using a little bit more. I still haven't used one up fully. I've gotten close, but they do last pretty well in my collection. So based on that and the amount of products you get in a mini. The minis are worth $11.82 each. So the full set is worth $35.46. They claim $45, which they do sell a mini rosy outlook on Sephora's website for $15. So that's where they're getting that claimed retail value. I talked about this in my last video, so I won't spend a ton of time on it. But sometimes there are minis available on Sephora's website, and they're not always as great of a deal as purchasing a full-size product if you really break it down price per ounce. This is very specific, and it doesn't matter to everyone, but if you are someone who uses products up fully, that might be something that you want to take a look at. Sometimes it makes sense to spend a little bit more price per ounce and just buy the mini if you're not going to use the full size product up fully, because then you're saving money in the long run. So anyway, all of that being said, I personally think $35.46 is more accurate as far as the true value of the kit, because they don't even sell the minis in additional colors, just rosy outlook. So it's not like you can purchase minis of multiple shades. In the end, whichever price you consider to be more accurate, I still think this is a pretty great deal. So a full-size Lawless gloss is $26. So basically for one more dollar than a full-size gloss, you can get this kit and have three different options and you end up with a slightly more product than you would in one full-size Lawless gloss. So if you like to have variation, this is going to be more ideal. I do prefer Bitten over Melrose. I don't know that I would wear Melrose quite as much. So if I'm going to spend $27 on this, I feel like I should probably just take that money and buy one lawless gloss I know I'll wear a ton. I wear my lawless glosses so much. They are so gorgeous and there are actually quite a few glosses on my wish list. So maybe I'll wait for the upcoming Sephora holiday savings event, which I think should be in October or like the very beginning of November and then just wait and get a full size gloss at a discounted price. Sometimes when it comes to these videos, I know I can spend a lot of time on one kit and I try to cut that down in editing, but if you ever want to jump ahead, I have chapters in the description box below or you can just slide right along the video if you're no longer interested in hearing about a certain kit, just so you know. Okay, this next kit is something I actually already purchased because this specific product is in my Sephora loves list. Like I have three or four shades in there. And again, it's something I've been using a lot lately. So I figured whenever the next Sephora sale rolled around, I would pick up another shade. And this is actually such a better option. So it's the 
Kosas Mini Blushes Life Trio. It's $30 and it comes with three mini blushes. I purchased one when it first launched and I've been using it a ton over the summer. It's such a beautiful, smooth blush and it is a baked blush, but I feel like this formula is a little bit different than your typical baked blush. I feel like I've fallen back in love with powder blushes over the last few months and this one is partly why. So the set comes with the blush in the shade Butterflies, which is a cool baby pink, Bliss, which is a warm peachy pink, and then Euphoria, which is a cool pinky mauve. Honestly, I feel like this set comes with a really good variation of shades. The one that I have is, I think it's Dreamland. So it is kind of like a bronzy, rosy shade, but Euphoria and Bliss were actually on my list of shades that I was considering. So I can actually get two of the shades I want plus a third one. And it's a really great deal. So the full size blush is $29 and it comes with 0.16 ounces. Each mini blush is worth $12.69 based on how much you get. So the total value is $38.07. Again, they say $45 which I'm really not sure where they're coming up with that number because they don't even sell these as minis. Sometimes there is a typo on Sephora's website, but I really don't know this time around how they got some of the retail values because I feel like they're all just at least a few dollars off. But I feel like there is a good amount of product in these mini blushes. Not quite half, but very, very close. And because it is a baked formula, I feel like automatically it's going to take me forever to even hit pan on it if I do. So this is a really great deal if you like Again, having multiple shades rather than just paying full price for one shade, especially because Kosas is known for having their products expire a little bit more quickly than other brands. That hasn't really happened to me personally, but I have read enough reviews, enough comments to know that it is happening to a lot of people. But in the end, I think this is a great kit, one of the best I've seen this year. I wish more brands would do mini blushes. I feel like they might do like a blush and a lip product, but I love the set of three blushes or even just three cheek products in general. Because again, for $1 more than the cost of a full-size blush, you get three different options and slightly more products. Product. So I really don't think you can beat this. I assume it's going to sell out at some point. So Tarte normally launches quite a few sets during the holiday season. They'll do like very high retail value sets compared to what you pay. They'll do like cheek trios, eye products, eye palettes. This time around, I've only seen two. So again, I'm sure there will be more available and I'll share them with you once they do come out. But these come with some of their more popular products, the Maracuja Juicy Lips. So the first one is the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump Best Sellers Duo. So this is a $29 set and you get two full-size products. The value on this this one does check out. It's worth 52. So it's basically like buying one full size lip product and getting the other one for $3. So a really great deal if you don't already own these shades and you know you would wear both of them. The shades you get in here are the Rosy Copper Shimmering Glass, which is really pretty, and then Dahlia. Dahlia is not available on Sephora's website, so you can actually purchase that one separately from Sephora, but you can get it on Tarte's website. It's a warm nude. I will say that the tones in this set are pretty similar, and when I look at the swatches, they're not that much different, except for like a slight variation, and then one has shimmer in it. So if you're looking to get a lot of variation between the two lip products, you might wanna go with the other set, but if these are the tones that you tend to wear the most, I do think it is a really great deal. The other set is the same exact price Price, $29, same value, $52. So again, buy one for full price, get the other one for $3. The first set, those are actual lip plumpers. I personally don't think there's a big difference between the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumps and the regular version, other than the fact that the lip plumpers provide like a little bit of a tingle, but I've never really seen any like drastic plumping results. So I always say just buy them based on the colors you like because the colors do vary depending on which formula you get. And this set does have a little bit more variation, like I said. So you get rose, which is a really pretty, just like light soft pink, and then also passion fruit, which is like a deeper berry. So definitely more variation within this set. I think these are really pretty too. This comes down to personal preference. If you love both colors in the set, I absolutely think this is worth grabbing. So like I said in last week's video, I did cover pretty much all of the holiday Sephora favorites kits. If you want to hear my thoughts on any of these launches, I'll link that video in the description box below. And then there was another launch that I think just came out last night that I wanted to talk about as well. And like I said last week, the Sephora favorites kits are typically a really great deal because you end up paying one price and getting like two or three times the value. So you're generally not going to hear me say that it's a bad deal. It really just comes down to 
whether or not you'll use all of the products in the kit. The value is really very personal. That's kind of the case with any makeup set, but objectively, if you're looking at the price compared to how much value you're getting, the Sephora Favorites kits are typically a really good deal. So the first one I want to talk about is the brand new one. This is the Sephora Favorites Best of Beauty Advent Calendar. It's $99 and they claim $366 in value. There are a lot of products in this kit, 27 products to be exact. You can open them each day and then there are two bonus products or you can open it all at once. So I did break down the value for every single product. This might be a little bit longer. So again, if you want to jump ahead, just slide right through this one. But let me start with the full size products in this kit. The Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Cheat Lip Liner comes in the shade Pillow Talk 2 which is like their medium version of Pillow Talk, this is worth $25. I do like these lip liners. I don't buy a lot of high-end lip liners, and I think I only have like two or three of these, but I think the quality is really good. They're very creamy. They almost give your lips like a plumped up appearance and they do lock your lipstick into place well. So I think that's a great product. I just tried this out last week, the Ulla Henriksen Pow Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment in Citrus Sunshine. This is worth 22 and I do like this product a lot. I actually got the strawberry one and I like that one a little bit better. It smells better in my opinion, but this formula is gorgeous. So I love that they included it. It's incredibly nourishing, so hydrating. Like my lips feel good hours and hours later. So so that is amazing. The Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. I do like this. It retails for $13. Some people don't love it because it's a little bit thicker, but I feel like it does remove my makeup well. The Ordinary's Multi-Peptide Eye Serum, which is worth $25. I haven't tried that product, but it sounds interesting. I wouldn't be opposed to trying it out. The Milk Makeup Matte Cream Bronzer in Baked. I do have that. It retails for $24. Anyway, all of the full-size products end up coming out to be $109. So the full-size products are worth more than what you pay. If you feel like those alone are worth it to you, then it's basically like paying for those and getting the rest of the products thrown in but most of the products in here are very, very tiny minis, like less than half the size of a typical mini you would find on Sephora's website, something that you might get as like a 100 point perk, but we'll go through everything in case you're interested. So let's start with the hair products. There are three mini hair products in here. The Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. This is worth $7.10, so it's pretty small. I still haven't tried that. I've heard really good things about it. There's actually a set of this product that I'll talk about later on in the video if you're just looking to try that. The Amika Soul Food Nourishing Mask. I have tried that. It's a great hair mask, very intense, really moisturizing. This is a small, small product, one ounce, and it's worth $4.25. So I feel like you could probably use that once. Oh shoot, I don't know how to say this brand name. I always see their lip oils, Gisu, I think that's how you say it. Their honey infused hair oil. Again, a super tiny amount. You're getting a 10th of an ounce. That is worth $2.71. So you'd maybe have enough to like add to the ends of your hair one or one maybe two times. Let's talk about the makeup minis. I'll go most expensive to least expensive. So you actually get a pretty good sized lip product in here from Givenchy. It is the Beauty Rose Perfecto. It's worth $21.67. That is obviously, of course, because it is a pretty expensive product if you're buying it full size. It's a little bit more than half the size of a full size product. So not a bad deal. I feel like that's kind of a nice product to get. That's not cruelty-free, just so you know. I do feature cruelty-free beauty products when I'm buying them and reviewing them on my channel, but when it comes to these Sephora favorites kits, there is sometimes a mix. The Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump in Rosy Mauve Shimmer Glass, which is worth $12.32. Again, about half the size, so a good amount in there. You get a Rare Beauty Mini Mascara. This one is actually a mini. Like, it's not less than a mini, so this is something you could purchase on Sephora's website for $11 if you do want to pick it up. So I feel like it's nice they included that size for a mascara because if it was any smaller, you'd run through it so quickly. You get the Pat McGrath Blush in the shade Divine Rose. This is worth $11.47 and then an AB brow gel worth $9.21. This is kind of confusing, but apparently there is like a mini beauty blender in here. I'd never seen this for sale on Sephora's website, so I can't actually say for sure how big it is. It looks tiny based on the photo and they don't, there's like no reference. So I can't get like a full true retail value for this. I would say it looks like it's about a third the size of the beauty blender. So I'm going to say like $7, but honestly, I can't tell. 
you get a Lancome mascara, and this is worth $5.45. It's not actually the size of a mini, it's half the size of a mini mascara. So pretty tiny. Same thing with the Urban Decay All Nighter. It's about half of a mini, and this is worth $4.50. This powder is actually super tiny. It's the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. So their mini comes with like 0.35 ounces or something close to that. This is one fifth the size of a mini. So I'm assuming this is like the teeniest, tiniest powder you've ever seen. Maybe you can use like your little mini beauty blender with that powder. So all of the makeup products end up being $86.91. As far as the skincare goes, you get the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. This is a pretty good size. It's worth $22.95. It's half the size of a mini, which again, kind of small, but this is the type of product you don't necessarily need to use a ton of. You also get the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel, and you get a couple of treatments. So if you buy the full-size product on Sephora's website, I think you get like 30 different treatments, and in this kit, you get five. So that's worth $15.33. A Laneige moisturizer worth about $10.67. A Peter Thomas Roth moisturizer worth about $7.94. The Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream worth $7.20. And then the Glow Recipe Niacinamide Hue Drops worth $4.15. This is a super tiny amount. Like, I, you could probably use this once and then you'd be done with it. So that, I mean, I don't know. It's worth $68.24, all of the skincare total. As I was just looking through the sizes, I just, I thought it was like a little bit laughable for some of them. I get it. It's an advent calendar. Like some products are big, some are tiny, but like some of these are so small. I didn't even know they made products that small. To finish up, there are a couple of perfumes in here. And I will say the perfume sizes are not quite as tiny as I feel like they could have been based on everything else. Just for reference, a lot of travel size fragrances come with 0.33 ounces. And I'll go through these. So you get the Jo Malone English Pear and Sweet Pea Cologne. This comes with 0.3 ounces. So basically the size of a travel size fragrance and that's worth $14.82. You get the Gucci Flora Gorgeous Magnolia Perfume that comes with 0.16 ounces. So about half the size of a travel fragrance, which again, you'll get enough in there to wear a few times worth $12.70. Commodity Milk which is a pretty popular brand. Like I keep hearing about that, but I haven't tried any of their products. 0.25 ounces and that's worth 11.03. And then you do get Sol de Janeiro number 59. This is actually like a perfume mist. It comes with one fluid ounce and that's worth 4.69. Okay, so all of that to say, I came up with a $321.45 total value. If you factor in the cost of minis, which most of these products aren't offered as minis on Sephora's website, there's maybe like a $15 difference. So our values are a little bit different since they say it's worth $366. But I don't know, maybe the beauty blender is worth more. Maybe there are a few other products that they consider to be worth more. But basically, in the end, you get three times the value compared to what you pay at $99. Definitely keep in mind, like I said, some of those are teeny tiny mini products. Some of them are fine, but for the most part, you're getting a very, very small amount. You might not even be getting enough product to use enough to decide if you like the product and want to go out and purchase the full size product, let alone enough to keep it in your collection and use it consistently. So some of them are fine. Some of them aren't. It really comes down to personal preference, but I feel like some of those minis are so tiny and it might not even be accurately represented in the photo, but they just, there's not much product in them. I personally think there are other Sephora favorites kits I'd rather spend my money on compared to this one, but it is available if that's something that you wanna buy. I actually don't know if this kit was available last week when I was breaking down all of the Sephora favorites kits, but I totally forgot to mention it. So I wanted to share it in today's video. This is their mini lash stash holiday set. And they do these kits fairly regularly. They usually do like a holiday one and then sometimes they'll do one in the spring. But in general, I do think they are really nice. Just to know, kind of the same case, like with the last kit, the mini mascaras in here are not the typical mini mascara size. You're actually getting a slightly smaller amount of product. Not to say they're not worth it, just something to know. So the first mascara in here is the only one that I, yeah, the only one I've tried, the Milk Makeup Rise Lifting and Lengthening Mascara. This is worth $10. I think this is a pretty good mascara. I didn't like it enough to run out and repurchase it. So I feel like that's saying something because there are a few high-end mascaras I like enough to buy over and over. I think it did a good job of, like it says, lifting and lengthening my lashes, but I didn't get as much volume as I would typically like. The Tarte Tartlet XL Tubing Mascara is in here. This one retails for $6.70. I meant to buy this during the 21 Days of Beauty. I actually had it in my Sephora cart because I wasn't going to buy anything else. And Sephora does free shipping 
Although I think Ulta does free shipping if you're a Diamond or Platinum member. But anyway, I forgot to buy it while I was on sale and then it went up to the full price. You also get the Grande Lash Grande Mascara. This is worth $5.95. The Benefit Fan Fest, which is worth $9.67. And the Lancome Lash It All lengthening and volumizing mascara, which is worth $8.89. Those are the sample values. So in the end, you do get $41.21 of value just from the mini mascaras alone. And then the voucher varies in value depending on which mascara you choose, obviously. So the least expensive is the Grande Lash that retails for $25. And the most expensive is Lancome, which is 30. So the total value of this kit ranges. So depending on whichever full-size mascara you choose, it can be worth $66.21 up to $71.21. So I actually think this kit's worth a lot more than what they claim. They claim $47. So I don't exactly know where they got that value because that's just close to the value of the mini mascaras alone, but it doesn't factor in the full-size mascaras. So if you, if you purchase one of these mascaras regularly, definitely grab this set because for the most part, you're going to end up saving a few dollars and then you get the chance to try out all of those additional mascaras. Or if you feel like you've wanted to try one of those, this could be a great kit. For me personally, mm, I don't really think there's anything in here that's super appealing other than that Tarte mascara, which I wish I grabbed during the 21 Days of Beauty and I totally forgot. But I do think this is a fun gift because it allows people to try out multiple products and then choose which one they want, kind of like they do with the fragrances. Let's talk about a few kits that are not just makeup related in case you're interested in some of the other categories. So Sol de Janeiro is doing a travel perfume set for $34. I think they ended up doing one like this last year and it sold out pretty quickly. I know these are really popular. This comes with four mini perfumes. You get 62, 68, 40, and 59. When it comes to perfumes, I'm definitely a fan of minis. I'd rather have a set with like smaller bottles than buying one full-size bottle of the same fragrance because I do like to switch it up. But let me say, this is the biggest markup on a holiday set I think I've ever seen. And I know Sol de Janeiro is very popular. These perfumes in particular are super popular. Whenever I'm at Sephora or like Sephora and Kohl's, this display, like all of the perfumes are basically empty. Now the Sol de Janeiro perfumes are not your typical perfumes. I think they're more so like a body spray. So you actually end up getting a lot of product for a lower price point. I think the full size bottles come with eight ounces for around $38. So obviously a lot less expensive than a typical perfume that's sold at Ulta. So it makes sense that the mini isn't going to be worth quite as much as a mini of a perfume that retails for like $150. But the minis in here are worth $4.69 each. So the entire kit is really only worth $18.77. So they actually might marked this up to cost twice as much as the value you're actually getting, which to me is just so crazy to see. I would go as far as to say you're kind of getting ripped off with this one. And again, I know sometimes it's nice to have four different minis to get the option to try out multiple fragrances, but I feel like they could have added more value to this kit for the price point for sure. They know that their perfumes are so popular. They know people are going to buy this kit. In the end, the fact that they are suggesting it's $40 in value isn't even accurate because that means that each mini would be worth $10 when it's only worth $4.69. The minis would literally have to come with twice the amount of product they're actually giving you. So not only did they mark this kit up to an extremely high price compared to what it's actually worth, the value is just not even accurate. So this one I feel like is honestly ridiculous. I think Sol de Janeiro might have done this last year as well, but it wasn't quite as extreme. And I just, I personally find it very misleading when brands attach a retail value that is not there. Some things are up to debate, like if they're including a little makeup bag or like an extra in there, but this one really isn't. All of that to say, if you really like this kit, I'm not trying to guilt trip you. Go for it. Buy it. It is your money. You work hard for your money. You can spend it however you want. I personally just don't like the fact that they said it's worth $40 when it's not even worth $20. Let's move on. A couple of skincare kits. The Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Icons Kit. It's $64. Glow Recipe typically does a really good job with their kits. They have kits that are geared toward all different skin types and all different interests. And I know the Watermelon Glow line is super popular. So this actually comes with three different products from that line. 
two full-size products, and then a mini. So you get the Watermelon Glow Toner, which is worth $35. I actually haven't tried that product, and I think about it from time to time, but I don't always use a toner in my routine super regularly. The Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops, which I do love, they're really nice to use as a primer or to mix into complexion products. And then you do get a mini Watermelon Glow Moisturizer, which I do really like that product. It's very, very hydrating, very thin. It leaves your skin feeling so nice, like very refreshed, but it gives your skin a true intense glow. So this kit is worth $91, which is a really great deal because you do get two full-size products and one mini, but the mini comes with a good amount of product, about half the size you would get in a full-size moisturizer. $91 in value for $64 is a $27 savings. So definitely recommend this one if you love Glow Recipe or you're looking for a gift for someone in your life who really likes the brand too. Glow Recipe also did a very big kit. Usually they have some more minis, which they might not be on Sephora's website yet, or they might just be putting them directly on their website later this year. But if you want a kit with a lot of full-size products, this might be the one for you. It's pretty expensive. It's $199, but it comes with eight of their best-selling full-size products. I've actually only tried two of these products. Like looking through them compared to Glow Recipe's full lineup, I wouldn't really call this their best selling products, which I don't know, maybe it is. I don't have like the insider scoop on their sales numbers, but I do think there are other products from the brand that tend to be a lot more popular that people either talk about more or that are more buzzed about. So maybe they are their actual best selling products, but not necessarily like the most viral according to social media, which definitely could be very true. So you get the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. These are worth $35, which like I said, I do love. And then you get the Plum Pump Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream, which is worth 40. This is actually one of my favorite moisturizers. I have an empties video coming soon. I just filmed it yesterday. I think it will come later this week. And I finished up my moisturizer and I miss it. It is so lightweight. It's really gorgeous because it sinks into the skin really nicely. It's not as glowy as the Watermelon Glow one, which I do like for my oily skin, but it leaves my skin feeling very moisturized, very soft. Oh wait, I've actually tried two other products in here. The Avocado Ceramide Moisture Barrier Cleanser. This is worth $28. I feel like it's a good cleanser. The packaging is not, it's not defective, but when I like open it up, the product just like pours out. So I feel like I end up wasting a lot of cleanser. It's good, but it's not something that I would feel the need to repurchase once I ran out of it. I've also tried their Avocado Ceramide Recovery Serum, which I do like that product because I have very easily irritated skin. Sometimes I want products that just feel very calming and that one feels great on the skin. The next four are products I have not tried. The Strawberry Smooth BHA AHA Salicylic Acid Serum, which is worth $42. The Watermelon Glow Toner, like I said earlier, that one's worth $35. The Cloudberry Bright Essence Toner, which is worth $38. And then the Guava Vitamin C Bright Eye Gel Cream, which is worth $38. So you actually get two toners in here. I feel like they could have replaced one of the toners with something different. I know they're different products, but I feel like that's kind of repetitive. Other than that, there's a pretty good mix of products in here. It really depends on what your skin type is as to whether or not these products would work well for you. It seems like a lot of these are maybe more ideal for like very sensitive, acne prone, red skin. Like there are a lot of calming products in here. Okay, so this kit is worth $300. No, 301 to be exact. So basically you're paying $199 and getting $102 of product for free. That sounds like a good deal but $199 is a lot to pay for skincare. I mean, if you break it down, you might spend that much on your skincare routine every few months to restock products, but those are skincare products that you specifically chose. So if you look at this kit and there are like three or four products in here that are not ideal for your skin type that you wouldn't have paid for anyway, this probably won't be worth it to you. It might actually make more sense to go to Glow Recipe's website. I don't know if they still have this, but they used to have the option to build your own kit and get a little bit of a discount, which is great because you can obviously choose products that will work specifically for your skin type, or maybe they'll have a Black Friday sale and you can get a discount on the products that you would have purchased anyway. Okay, there is a polished choice set that I think is a really great deal. It's one of my all-time favorite products. I know so many people love this. This is their gold standard 2% BHA jumbo and mini set. So it's $56 and you basically get a mini and a jumbo size of the same exact product. They're 2% BHA, which I just said. This is such a good product and I've used it on and off for years at this point. Every single time I use it, I love it. And then when I run 
run out of it, I'm like, oh, I'll try something else. And I notice an immediate difference in the texture of my skin. This product really works to smooth the skin, unclog pores, kind of shrink the appearance of pores, but it also works to keep my skin from getting as oily throughout the day. A big game changer for me, I used to use it with a cotton pad and I would go through it a lot more quickly. And then one of you left a comment on my video a few years ago and said that you just pour it directly into your hands and press it into your skin. And ever since then, a bottle of this product has lasted me like two or three times longer. So I highly recommend that if you don't do that already. So anyway, this kit comes with a mini, which is one ounce. It's worth about $8.75, but they do sell a mini on Sephora's website for $14. And then it also comes with a jumbo size, which is eight ounces. I think the standard bottle is four, so eight ounces is a huge bottle, and that is actually worth $70. So in the end, this kit has a value of $78.75 for $56. This is definitely worth it if this is a type of product that you end up repurchasing over and over. And for me, I have gone through countless bottles Models of this product. Even though I go through it a little bit more slowly these days, it is something that I end up buying at the full price point. It's nine ounces of product, and if you were to purchase two separate four ounce standard bottles, you would be paying $70. So basically by buying this kit, you spend $14 less and you get one extra ounce of product, a little travel size, which is nice to bring with you on the go. All right, I'm going to cut this video off here. These videos always take me longer than I think they're going to. I think I just end up talking so much about each kit, so I'll try to cut it down a little bit in editing. Editing. I have a couple of hair kits that I wanted to talk about, but I'll just save those for the next video because it seems like I'll end up filming these videos every week or every other week. So if I'm not back on Sunday, next Sunday with another one of these, I'll be back the next week. So thanks again for watching. I would love to have you guys back on my channel. I have a new video going up on Tuesday, a new one on Thursday. So hopefully I'll see you then. Bye.